Hello, Assalamualaikum and very good day to Middle. Uh, first of all, I would like to represent myself. My name is Ahmad Shady Bima Yusuf. I would like to uh, share about pre-stress concrete. Okay, so basically, what is the pre-stress concrete? Okay, pre-stress concrete is internal stress are induced to counter react external stress. In 1904, Fresenius attempted to introduce permanent active force. In conclusion, to resist elastic forces under loads and was named. So we can uh, see that uh, from the first picture, uh, the typical load is attached into reinforced concrete. So uh, the crack occurs with deflection under that load and full service load. But so uh, we look at the concept of pre-stressing. Okay, as we can see from the wooden stuff, uh, which is uh, the metal bands is uh, uh, is around the barrel. So the concept of pre-stressing was invented around a few years. And then uh, the principle of pre-stressing. So pre-stressing is a method in which compression force is applied to the reinforced concrete section. The effect of pre-stressing is to reduce the tensile stress in the section to the point till the tensile stress is below the cracking stress. Okay, so this is uh, the large compression for principle of pre-stressing. We can see the cross section. So uh, in this uh, uh, in this picture, the stress in concrete is applied at the center of CG and at the center of the section. So we can see then uh, we can see we can compare with the smaller compression, which is the stress in concrete was pre-stressed and applied eccentrically with respect to the section. So we can see that the small compression occurred. So uh, that's all from me. Uh, the Okay, Assalamualaikum and Salam Sejahtera. We are going to talk about the pre-stress construction work. First, we already knew that there are two types of pre-stress method that apply in concrete, which are pre-tensioning and post-tensioning. We can easily differentiate both methods by their operation, where the pre-tensioning is factory-based operation, while the Post-tensioning, the operation was normally applied on site. Okay, however, in this video, we are only focusing on the pre-tensioning forces. And if you want to watch a video on the pre-stress in construction work for pre-tensioning method, just double-click the link given. So, I'm going to make it quick and... Here is the procedure that I've already, already listed up based on the video. Firstly, apply the release uh, agent on the formwork surface before prepared for the formwork. Second, lay the pre-stress cable or also known as a tendon. After that, insert the anchor grip for both ends. Then, stressing of the cable is performed before concreting. Then, remove the excessive concrete and place the hanger on the surface before leave the slab or concrete for harden in several days. Next is, remove the formwork and cut the cable to unload it to required strength and lastly transporting the slab to stop and do some finishes okay this is a simple procedure for the pre-tensioning method mm, hope you enjoy okay that's all from me thank you why the cast concrete is more preferred compared to conventional in situ construction method. Factory control is the factory solid. In the process of curing, the precise concrete is being cured in the factory. You can control the climate 
to make sure the curing process takes place under ideal conditions. That means you can be more confident in the precision of the mold and fabrication along with the strength and consistency of the cast. Second point is factory efficiency. In addition to quality control advantages, factory cast concrete is more efficiently manufactured, driving down cost. Because, because concrete can be fabricated using assembly line techniques, each cast requires a lot less labor and therefore costs less in labor costs. Third point is versatility. Because factory made precast concrete is shaped to such a wide range of customers for an equally varied range of application, precast is in many ways more versatile than side cast concrete. A large variety of motifs, colors, and finishes are available, along with smaller. Next is economies of scale. Because precast concrete uses standard form, slab can be mass produced, improving the economies of scale. Moreover, because precast concrete is factory made and standardized, there is fixed pricing, which enables you to accurately budget construction costs and avoid going over budget. Low on platform by eliminating logistical concerns. Scheduling becomes easier, which in turn helps you to ensure that unexpected costs are occurred. On site formal is a logistical headache. By using factory casting, you can avoid all of the stress of Lastly, is a efficient and sustainable material use. By using precast concrete, you will be maximizing material efficiency. Because of the precision of precast concrete, material waste is minimized. Concrete is a recyclable material, meaning you can Hi, I'm Elise Anagari and I'm going to present topic number four, which is how precast concrete constructions can contribute towards reducing carbon dioxide and global warming issues. Carbon dioxide. Based on the website from British Precast Concrete, during its lifetime, precast unit, aggregate block and aircrete will effectively reabsorb much of the carbon dioxide that was used to create them were the process called carbonations that accelerate when British products are crushed for recycling at the ends of their life. 
How precast concrete is sustainable to environment? First, concrete were made from Portland cement, which is a blend of limestone, silica, some amount of several chemical, and also consists of naturally occurring gravel, sands, or rock that crush to a particular screen size. Aggregate lend well to recycle material like old concrete harvested from demolition site or excess spillage from the manufacturing process. And then all sorts of natural mineral compounds are mined and made into aggregate. Water is the catalyst. It triggers a chemical reaction that starts the hydrogen or curing effect. Based on the Nitro House Concrete 2017, because concrete can have relatively low water cement ratio of between 0.36 to 0.38. This low ratio means the weight of the water compared to the weight of cement is less than in a typical mix where it is also increased durability. After treating it, the water can be often recycled for making concrete. What is the benefits of precast concrete? Precast manufacturing hold tighter tolerance and precise mixture proportions. The factory setting greatly reduces waste. That include waste from excessive concrete, foam work, and bracing packaging, and debris that accumulate on cars in plant site. Precast manufacturing business recycle waste material. That result in less material sent to landfill or dump into the environment. Plant conditions create less dust. This is healthier for the workers protected by ventilation equipment and personal protective equipment like respirator. Properly designed precast structure, remember, are smaller in size and use less material than environment built on site. This means less material must be harvested from the environment and result in less to dispose of when the building's life cycle is over. Energy conservation is a huge factor in creating sustainability in the building. One of it is operating costs. Precast concrete thermal must absorb and release heat slowly. This can equate to long-term energy saving through years or of cooling and heating the building, especially when combined with insulations. Conclusions Precast concrete is a truly sustainable green product and also highly durable and use an extremely low water cement ratio. All the sustainable benefits result in precast concrete product being chosen as priority materials in LEED certified building. The materials that are used to make precast concrete products from natural and recycled resources, mainly in organic. Most of these materials are subject to minimal processing or chemical treatment to render them suitable for use, which is result in concrete having a relatively low embodied energy value, unlikely highly processed materials such as plastic. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.